All right, so I'm with Head Ref Cabo. First of all, I wanted to thank you and all the head refs for making sure this competition runs smoothly. So my first question for you is, what role is being called out the most? Well, thank you for taking the time to ask that question and um, for doing these interviews. I hope that they turn out to be super helpful for thank the you. Vex community. Um, so we're running, we're seeing a lot of, first of all, let me say how impressed I am with the robots that are here. To see that this is the first iteration of the high stakes robots is yes. really impressive and I cannot imagine what they're going to continue to look like as the season develops. But what we're seeing is we're seeing quite a few violations of SG4, mm -hmm. which is keeping scoring objects in the field. We're seeing lots of rings go out. Okay. And the fact that um, in one match, if you lose if you remove three rings or more in and a that's match, a DQ, that's right. a DQ. And then we're also seeing people do like a single or two rings in a match. And after the after the third time you do it, so the fourth time you do that, that is also a DQ. So we're keeping track of that. And hopefully um, we don't see too many more DQs. We've seen a couple already, but um, I hope that that is something that the students learn pretty quickly. And then we're also seeing quite a few violations of SC6 which is possession is limited to two rings and or one mobile goal. Now, for the most part, possession of two rings is pretty, or three rings or more is accidental. And the teams are being really good about fixing that immediately and not continuing to possess three mm -hmm. rings. But possession of two mobile goals and uh, pushing while in possession of a yeah, mobile you goal. Yeah, because you can't plow one while you push, while, while you possess one, right? Correct. SG. 6 part B says plowing multiple mobile goals is permitted however plowing an additional mobile goal while possessing one is considered a violation of this rule due to the extremely high likelihood of accidental implied possession so what we're seeing a lot of and uh, probably every other match is a robot that has a mobile goal and then takes that mobile goal and uses it to plow another goal out of the corner especially the positive corners uh, so that is becoming quite the violation down on the competition field. So even if the robot's not contacting uh, the second mobile goal directly, but they're pushing it with that other mobile goal, that's considered plowing? Correct, because you can't use a game element to do something that is illegal okay. that's done by a robot, right? Yes. So as the rules read right now, that is how we are interpreting that. Now, that doesn't mean that any of these rules aren't going to change. GD GDC may decide to change any of these rules, but for this event at Mall of America, that is the consensus that the head refs have come to. And then the final game rule that we are seeing lots of violations of is SG11, the positive corners being safe in the last 10 seconds. We are seeing lots of people contacting rings and mobile goals right. in the last 10 seconds. So be really careful of that. As a driver, it's your responsibility to stay out of there in the last 10 seconds. And as your drive team members, it is their responsibility to make sure that that driver stays out of there in the last 10 seconds. That's true, because the 10 second rule also means that you can't score a mobile goal in the positive corner within the last 10 seconds. Correct. You cannot score. You need to let go before the last 10 seconds. You can't contact any rings, even if they're loose rings, in those positive corners in the last 10 seconds. The negative corners, you can still have interactions with that, but the positive corners are off limits in the last 10 seconds. All right. Now, are there any rules that there's been a lot of confusion around? Really, it's just SG6 okay. um, and the SG11 that we discussed. Those have been the most confusing. One that I think is really cool, and I think that not enough teams have taken advantage of, is um, the starting line for the game this year is actually a plane oh. and not contact with the tape or uh, being within that volume. You have to be within that volume, but it's not contact with the tape line this year. So that's pretty okay, cool. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, that's about it. So thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Absolutely. Thank you for asking. I love um, when you guys ask these questions. It makes us better refs, and hopefully it makes you guys better competitors too when we all understand the rules. Yeah, for sure. Thanks.